I turned blind at the age of four and uh, I developed a condition called retinopathy. Because of that, I went blind in my left eye. I developed glaucoma in my right eye, so that's how I became blind in my right eye. One of the biggest challenges in the computer science field, I feel like, is how visual everything tends to be. The diagrams for circuitry, there's diagrams for state diagrams, there's um, all sorts of stuff that you really have to be able to see to understand. This one is the uh, repeat loop. So the repeat loop, actually what it does is it's, um, it's like the do loop in uh, C or C sharp or Java. I think he's very smart. And as you see today in the presentation, he behaves like any other student. And uh, you see this is a class where all the concepts, concepts are really abstract. He handled them properly. Uh, and he gave very, very clear explanations. So we have to translate the, the material, so we have to give him more time just to understand the concept and then the program because we are treating him in a different way because uh, for some assignment he has all the background, but for other assignments we need to organize the material beforehand and give it to him. But he's doing fine. I wanted to make a complicated game for blind people probably the most complicated that ever existed. Because the problem with games for blind people, they've been around for a very long time but they've always been limited in their scope, so I really wanted to take it a step further. I like Moon Wars games because they're challenging for um, blind people to play. Because of a lot of audio games, they were very easy and very predictable. And Moon Wars games, they just went to a whole nother level and just made playing IO games a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I thought they were toying me. Oh, up, up, Austin, not down. Level out. Ah, level, level out. out. Under 80. Oh dear. LGS. Charge. Oh, oh crap. Oh dang, I just got destroyed.